Hello and welcome to the Big Wobble. And just to let you all know, the Big Wobble now has a very media savvy front page. I hope you all like it. Cold records tumble on both sides of the Atlantic this weekend as the polar vortex blasts the northeast of the US with coldest air in a decade. Methane leaks, arsenic and cadmium at danger levels, alarming levels of radioactivity leaking into the Hudson River and Michigan residents drinking poison water. It's the US 2016. Horror stories coming in out of the US this year and we're still only in February as its ageing infrastructure is looking rough around the edges. A magnitude 6.2, 219 kilometres northwest of Auckland Island, New Zealand, is the fifth major quake of February and the 15th of 2016. Nicaraguan volcano alert this week. The two mighty colossi, Talika and Momotomba volcano, erupt within two hours of each other, launching gas and ash. 500 meters into the sky. I've had a few people mail the big wobble telling me how mild their winter has been this year. Well, spring has arrived in Holland six weeks early as trees and flowers begin to bloom. Do these pictures really look like Northern Europe in the middle of February? I am not here to promote global warming, just facts. And the weather is acting very strange. And that is a fact. The El Nino show broke another record last month, with January seeing an extraordinary record-setting spike in global average temperature. It follows reports from NOAA that 2015 was the Earth's warmest year by the widest margin on record. The super El Nino pattern that we're still in right now hit a peak in January and that, no doubt, played a role in this global temperature spike. Hundreds of dead turtles and a large number of dead birds were found this week dead on the beaches of Guerrero, Mexico. Water temperature was blamed. Outrageous warm weather followed by record-setting snowfall and unbearable cold followed by more wa mild weather, sorry causing massive thaw, is hitting Ottawa, Canada this week. Death Valley in California is poised for a wildflower super bloom, thanks to El Nino. Seeds which have laid dormant for hundreds of years, maybe even thousands, have burst into life this year in Death Valley after much needed rainfall from the El Nino event. A great article this week in a Polish magazine asks the question, does Europe want to commit suicide? And did Angela Merkel bring hell to Europe? It comes along with disturbing reports of young girls being sexually molested in public swimming baths in Holland and Germany, along with a female immigrant care worker knifed to death by a refugee in Sweden and a gang of Muslim men found guilty of raping white girls in Northern England. Most normal European citizens are wondering if bringing the refugees here was the right thing to do. A world record number of shark attacks in 2015 and more than 10,000 black tip sharks swimming off the coast of Palm Beach County, Florida, are both blamed on El Nino. It seems like El Nino is getting blamed for everything. A horror story emerging from Iraq this week regarding highly dangerous radioactive material which was stolen. It will lead to radioactive pollution of catastrophic proportion. It could be used as a dirty bomb or even just left hidden in a crowded place. The material was owned by US oil field services company Weatherford and 30 dead, nearly 50 injured in a car bomb blast in the Turkish capital Ankara this week. Fears grow as evidence shows North Korean nuclear tests 
will trigger a volcanic eruption of Mount Baekdu, causing chaos to the Western Pacific. More madness, new depth of depravity. ISIS demons behead a 15-year-old Iraqi boy for listening to pop music. A magnitude 6.0 Indonesia and a magnitude 6.0 on the southern East Pacific rise are the sixth and seventh major quakes to occur this month and brings the list for the year to 17. It's been a wonderful month for meteors. Another two fireballs this week light up the sky in Italy, France and Switzerland. It must be around six or seven I have reported this month. And on Friday we had a beautiful magnetic explosion on the sun. Luckily it wasn't earth facing. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded a beautiful movie of the explosion. A close call this week, but our bigger ones on the way. A magnitude 5.1 strikes off the Fukushima coast sorry, of Japan. Many believe it's an accident waiting to happen. Tropical Cyclone Winston turned deadly this week. Category 5 Winston is now the strongest cyclone ever to hit Fiji in recorded history. It's the cyclone which died and came back to life. Incidentally, as the cyclone arrived, Fiji was hit with a magnitude 5.8 earthquake. More radioactive horror for the Japanese. Kansai Electric Power Company reactor number 4 opening is suspended after radioactive water was found in the building. The reactor had been closed since the Fukushima disaster in 2011. A build-up to World War III shocker. Saudi Arabia admits it has nuclear bombs, will test within weeks, and the weapons to be used against Russia and Iran and Pre President Bashar al-Assad. In a televised interview, Daham al-Anzi said, Russians want to support Bashar al-Assad, who is just one man and a small group of loyal regime loyalists around him, while the Syrian people are being slaughtered. The Saudi army will not stand by. Our army represents the Saudi people. He goes on. Why do you think we are buying missiles and airplanes? We have had a nuclear bomb for two years now. A nuclear test may be held within weeks. And these weapons are for the defence of Arab and Muslim rights. Well, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully I'll see you all next week. And I'll leave you with this wonderful picture of the Dutch winter. Bye-bye.